Alright you guys, just got back from town and boy things are weird down there. It is the middle of the week and there's nobody out on the streets. All the stores are, uh, a lot of them are closed. Goodwill's closed. A few others, not not too many. Air gas was open, that's where I went. I went and got me a new tank of welding gas. Upgraded from the 80 pound cylinder to a 150 pound cylinder because they were out of the 80 pound cylinders and that went kind of quick in my opinion I could use a I could go for double the size on that so from an 80 to a 150 100 bucks filled 100 bucks for an upgrade so they took the old tank and put it toward this one and I opened it up at a, an account because I plan to go back many more times lots of welding coming up uh, first things first, I need to make that battery box for the e-bike. So now the problem is where to put this thing. It fit, uh, the 80 pound fit nice underneath the table here. This will not. It's probably going to just have to sit in the hallway. Yeah, a lot bigger, a lot heavier. Eighty pounds is like about yay high. So it's this high. Lay it down. All right, that works. That's a big one. Nice. Just made a couple uh, sausage. Burritos, um, Sam's Choice Chipotle and Monterey Jack cheese. Slice it up, put it on a burrito with some cheese, coleslaw, and with some uh, kale from the garden. Apparently we are growing kale in the garden now, which is awesome. Year-round kale, that's what I'm talking about. It just started pouring. I am in the middle of a project here for the welder. I've had this short, slow, like three foot hose for the longest time. It's a Goodyear acetylene hose. Um, I got an air gas. Actually, I think they even put it together for me for this thing for my uh, shielding gas my um, argon and co2 mix um, anyway I had some torch hoses and decided to lengthen this whole thing so since I had barbed fittings on that Goodyear that air gas gave me um, I was able to take one and slip it right over since it was a quarter inch then there's one jammed in there that was like a 5 16 I kind of remember them doing that since it was all they had um, so I went through my stuff and found a quarter inch out of diameter barb to go with this hose. This is the uh, red side of the red and green. They were stuck together. I just split them in half. Something I got off eBay for a good deal, but I never ended up getting torches, so they just kind of sat in storage. Now I have a reason for it, to use it. So I'm also going to add, add some uh, just some fittings here so I could quick disconnect from my welder. So uh, I'll do uh, let's see here. I want this side so I could purge the line. This automatically shuts off and seals, so that would actually be best for the welder and keep dust out of there, at least out from the internals of the welder. Keep keep all the dust and grime in this spot which can be blown out we'll need a mail and yank the uh, mail to mail out of there put that in there uh, put that uh, on the welder and I'll put this on the hose so, so. 
And we'll have a nice long hose to come from inside the RV instead of having to bring this big old tank out every time. And I think I'm going to chain it up on this bar. It's fairly sturdy. I'm probably going to do something else as well. I, I would really doubt that this whole shelf would come down from that. Um, just leaning on it or leaning against it as I'm taking turns. So a little rainy day project there. I'm kind of actually I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm looking forward to having a nice long hose for my shielding gas. All right, cool. The welder already has a male fitting on there, so this can just go on just like that. Nice. It's gonna make things so much easier. Just throw a little teflon on there. Actually, this is far enough back. Let's just put on some new stuff here. A little tricky. Nice. No room to do it. The first couple wraps on here. Grab a wrench, two wrenches. Hold the back nut and want to tighten the front. Okay, should be good. Awesome. I love it. Alright you guys, a new camera. Got a fan sending one in too, but I already ordered this one. It's a Polaroid Cube. This was like the second camera I ever used on the YouTube channel here. First camera was this uh, eBay Olympus. This thing uh, takes video, takes pretty good picture, it takes really bad, really bad video and audio. But I used that for the first couple videos, or maybe it was just one. No, it was a couple videos. And then I switched it over to the Polaroid Cube. And used that for quite some time, and I really liked it. Just like the session I'm using here, it's a cube camera. Easy to hold in your hand and take it in your shopping, throw it in your pocket, grab it. Uh, the uh, Polaroid Cube has a magnet on the bottom, which I found really handy to stick all over the underneath of the RV while I'm working on it. This always needs uh, some sort of mount or just a flat surface to sit on or else uh, there's no magnet on it. But it has a super sturdy housing and it's, um, yeah, it's like a, the GoPro is a real beefy camera. It can take some abuse from what it feels like. It's got a nice latching door with a good seal on it. My last Polaroid, Polaroid cube got moisture in it and eventually broke, so that just went into storage for the time being. and. Uh, I see they're down to like 30 bucks, so 35 or something. Yeah, there it is, still kind of in the same packaging. The first one I got was just this. Yeah, it was just a square case this big from this part up. That's all I got. Same kind of case. There's probably a metal piece in the case itself that's holding the camera down, as well as the top and bottom pieces, but 
Yeah, that's what I remember. And I do like this camera. It's uh, it's it's a little bit smaller than the Session Four here. This is the Cube Plus. I don't know what that means. The Act Two. There's also versions of this with Wi-Fi. I don't think this is that though. Splash proof, yes, definitely not waterproof. It'll take a splash or two, that makes sense. Image stabilization, it did have that and it worked pretty good. It also never failed me. It never had this ridiculous no audio problem. This camera will be good for backup. To have, uh, if I have two cameras going, then at least I can get the audio from another one. Or with my ex, um, my audio recorders. I could also use my phone. I'm trying to get in the habit of having an extra audio recording going along. And we'll go check out the other camera when I get it right into the P.O. box. Pick that up. So, we'll try that out here in a little bit. It also came with uh, the little monkey stand. It was all included, which is kind of cool. I really wanted the monkey stand. Oh yeah, this should have also a few accessories. Like the necklace. Yeah, the necklace came with a card. A uh, micro SD card, a charger. Okay, so we got the monkey stand. Rubbery. Looks like the arms might move, or it's just a just a separation there from the mold. Yeah, probably just a just a line. So I assume that is magnetic. His neck or metal, anyway. We got uh, just a picture of it in there. Hmm. It does show that it can swivel up and down, so who knows, maybe those do come out. Or maybe not, I don't know. That's a picture on the back. How to put together your monkey. Monkey camera. nice up here the desk for vlogging or setting off to, uh, off to the side when I'm cooking. Always a puzzle getting into these things. Yeah, it's got different uh, recording blinks, what that means. Green for good, red is recording. If it's flashing yellow while recording, it's a low battery. We got uh, basic instructions, we got instructions with words. Got the camera, with that thing stuck in the bottom. Ah, oh, yeah, feels just like my old one. Happy to have that back, cool. Doing cube cameras now. Yeah, that is just a little bit nicer to carry carry around. And of course, like I said, never failed me with the audio or recording at all. I don't remember ever having a problem with that. <laughs> That's cool. So yeah, the way just to hold the camera for vlogging or something. It's got some accessories. I Assuming. Yeah, what do we got in here? This feels heavy. We got a uh, little card. What do we got? 32, 8 gigabyte. Small one. I got a bigger one I could probably use. Got the little, the little cord for the cube. Oh, and the necklace. Yeah, there was a few times I thought about getting one of these. But it uh, came in this cheap kit. So, yeah, why not? Uh, 
Yes, I'm Stretch it around, there we go. Huh. Neat. So I'm gonna throw that around my neck or on a backpack or something. Kinda heavy and bulky, but super handy little camera. I do like these cubes. Probably have to get a I'd probably get a separate camera just to keep on the necklace. That's a little too inconvenient just to pop it in and out all the time. So I can have a necklace camera just to back up to bring with me. I do like saving the metal out of the bottom of this and making a mount. Uh, I can make a mount out of this, stick it to stuff. Kind of neat little packaging deal they got going on here, all this boxing and structural stuff. Very cool. Card, keep that. Cool. So, I'll let you know which video I start using that in and we'll see how it works out. Put that little carabiner on there so I can clip it on my stuff. Charging. Forgot how much I love the little magnet on the bottom of these things. I'm gonna get another one. All right, that's where the bottle's gonna go. Just use a couple ratchet straps, and they're pretty tight. And that's not gonna go anywhere. So that can just stay right there. All I gotta do when I want to weld, take off the cap, I'll put some tape on there just because I don't like dust getting in my threads, um, put on the regulator, attach the hose, and run it out the window. I'm very happy about that. It's gonna make things so easy just being able to leave the tank in here. It would take quite a bit for that to go anywhere. I got my air fitting, just real quick, boop, attach the line. Love it.